Boy, it has been another busy day in the kitchen. I've made pork bone broth from some backbone we had the other night, tomato soup, tomato juice. Man, y'all, next thing on the list is peaches. So let's make some peach preserves today. peach preserves I'm just following the recipe in the ball cannon book and I'll also add that recipe to the description uh, so y'all be sure to check that out these make a wonderful snack wonderful Christmas present and I got plenty of peaches to do it I like to do a couple things with peaches I made peach jam which is absolutely delicious the peach preserves and uh, I like to freeze them for peach cobblers you know throughout the year until the following peach season if you're a local to us anywhere at all. I got these in Woolwine, Virginia from a little place called Wade's Orchard. Check them out y'all. Uh, real fine folks up there and they got some beautiful, beautiful peaches that they picked there on that farm. So let's get started. First thing we're going to need is four cups of peaches. So I'm just going to dig right in there. I got clean hands. Me and Andy have been peeling peaches all afternoon. All right, you have some nice conversations during those times. Kids help some too. Well, Jacob was mowing. And Maggie, she was, she might have been eating more than she was working, but it's all right. <laughs> well, pour those in our pot. back over here out of the way. So we need six tablespoons of this. I hope it works y'all because uh, I've had this for a couple of years. Just gonna mix all this together. Let that just cook down just a little bit. scrape off the top here just like we did our strawberry jam. We're going to scrape a little bit of that off. Just makes the texture of the preserves or the jam like weird because one year I got lazy and I didn't scrape it off <laughs> and it made the texture just real odd. So because like after it sits the bubbles don't go away. <laughs> And actually, off camera, because I forgot to cut it on, I took a potato masher after my peaches were, like, cooking real good and mashed them up a little. So it won't be such big chunks in there. But if you want big chunks of peaches, that's cool, too. Whatever how you want to do it. do this just like I do my jam. I'm going to fill it up just as absolutely to the top as I can because I really feel like that makes it keep a little better.
Well, guys, I don't ever hit it just right like that right there, but I did it this time. Those are going to make some delicious jam bars. They're going to be a delicious snack. And like I said, a great Christmas present. Hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope you learned a little something. Short and sweet uh, little canning recipe that I like, I like to do. And they're pretty too. So, anyways, guys, till we catch you on the next one, y'all have a good one.